Right now, everybody and their mothers are talking about the upcoming GPUs from NVIDIA and AMD. But Intel also makes GPUs now and their next generation battle-made GPUs are right around the corner and nobody is talking about that. So let's talk about that. Intel launched their first generation XE Alchemist GPUs back in 2022 with four generation GPU roadmap plan. Unfortunately, the first generation ARC GPUs were not very well received, although they were very competitive when it comes to price to performance ratio the gpus were plagued by driver issues and game compatibility at launch starfield was unplayable on these gpus and a bunch of games weren't really that optimized for these gpus and for that reason suggesting anybody any intel gpus was hard but now the situation has gotten much more stable right now and the arc a580 is literally one of the best budget gpu right now in the market and battle mage or intel arc b series gpus are going to be intel's second try to break into the gpu market which currently is majorly dominated by nvidia now we already got a glimpse of what these battle made gpus could be from intel's own lunar lake mobile cpus and according to that the battle mage architecture is much more power efficient while delivering you very good price to performance or performance in general those gpus are like calculating those gpus price to performance is a little bit harder than dedicated gpus so but still they do have the same problem with drivers and game compatibility so intel not only have to work hard right now to make good hardware but also they need to make good software to support that hardware and we can expect a 50 percent performance improvement with new ray tracing cores with these upcoming battle made gpus which are supposed to be priced around five to six hundred dollars for the high end now let's talk about some leaks and rumors these new battle made chips are supposed to be built on top of tsmc's four nanometer node design and two gpu chips have been leaked so far and all of them are engineering samples so they are at a very early stage of development and also because all these are leaks and rumors so always take them with a grain of salt anything and everything can change at the last moment first is g21 with 20 xe2 cores and 12 gigabytes of gddr6 memory which was recently tested on geekbench 6.3 the gpu score 97,943 points which make this gpu faster than the current ra750 but slower than the rtx 4060 now you might have noticed that this g21 gpu has fewer cores if we compare it with arc a750 but the xe2 cores are slightly different from the first generation XE cores so it's not completely apples to apples comparison also I don't think that the G21 is supposed to replace the ARC A750 I think it should replace the ARC A58 the smaller 192 bit memory bus width is also another reason why I think that this is going to be an entry level chip and if I have to predict the price then I think it should be under $200 or at most $250 second chip that was recently leak was g31 and this is supposed to be an 32 core chip with 16 gigabytes of gddr6 memory with 256 bit memory bus now we don't have a lot of information about this particular chip but it is supposed to be faster than rtx 4060 and there was another g10 chip which is now allegedly has been cancelled so i'm not getting into that but that's mostly all the information we have right now there are a lot of confusion about the release date too but i think that these gpus will arrive early next year after ces or at computex and looking at intel right now they desperately need the battle mage gpus to put a dent into the gpu market right now intel is not really in a great spot their foundry business is on a limbo right now their cpu division got a lot of flack after the core ultra 200 series launch and on top of that if battle mage performs similarly to alchemist i don't think we are going to see a third generation intel desktop gpu so a lot is riding on battle mage for intel like a lot is riding on you because you haven't subscribed to my channel so press the subscribe button if you like the video hit the like button if you haven't I'll feel free to dislike and let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about intel's upcoming battle made gpus i know there are a few leaks that are floating around but those are one-off leaks so that's the reason i haven't talked about it but if you 
want me to talk about those leaks too let me know in the comment section and if you want to watch more videos from us check out this video right here and if you want to subscribe which you if you haven't already then do it by here and there's akash and i'll see you guys in the next one peace